Well, welcome to the end of another day of metal detecting with Henry Dexter. Here I am on my deck. Got lots of iron today. Some pretty big stuff. This is, I don't know, five or six pounds. This is pretty heavy. Whatever it was, I bet you they missed it eventually. Um, this was uh, laying on top of the ground. I felt like since I was out there metal detecting, I might as well uh, clean up a little bit. Um, lots of iron pieces. Some of them are a little more interesting than others. Here's a part of a uh, maybe a fire truck or just a regular truck. Still see some red paint on it. A little bit of tin, a little bit of wire. Lots of little pieces of tin. Man, those get annoying. <clears throat> nice bolt. A little more recognizable. A, maybe a piece of a bridle. There's uh, you know, your lots of shells out there. I think this was maybe the sp a spur off maybe a kid's, you know, cowboy outfit or something. Another part of a belt, bullet, smaller bullet. Whatever this was, I wish I would have found the whole thing. So it's curved kind of like a jar and it's got some neat scallop, I don't know, petal flower carvings on it or something. Kind of nice. And uh, this looked interesting, kind of like a little lever. But uh, then this I was sure was going to be a uh, a wheat penny or an Indian head penny, but of course it wasn't. And then uh, here's the good stuff. So I think this is a, uh, a kid's lipstick. It has princess pat on it from the princess something or other company. And you can see it's kind of supposed to slide apart. I did find um, two Indian head pennies. These are my first Indian head pennies. A, a 1987 and a 1980 or a 1887 and 1889. I'm very excited about those. And then a couple wheat pennies, a 1910 and 1941. And I was. This is my first half I've ever found. I'm very very pleased with it. 19. 07 Barber half it uh, was just a great day out there. I was at an old um, Site that used to be a one-room country school And it was a bean field this year, so the walking wasn't too tough. I spent about four hours out in the field and um, just had a great time so Whenever you want to take a, a break from Hitting parks and yards, I highly recommend fields. They probably haven't been detected before, and um, you just might find something worthwhile. So this will keep me going for a long time. So thanks to all you watching, and I'd like to thank both of my subscribers, and um, hope you have as much fun detecting as I do, because I'm just having a great time. Bye.